Hi everyone! Welcome back to the Allaire Village YouTube channel. My name is Heather and I'll be subbing in for Felicity today. We have a fun cooking video for you guys today. We're going to be making coffee ice cream. So this is a yummy treat for the summer. Um, we got the recipe from The Common Sense in the Household, a manual of practical house whiffery by Marion Harland. Back in the day, ice cream was a rich person's dessert because of the amount of milk that was needed to make it. The coffee that we will be using today is the Allaire Coffee Blend. You can pick this up in the bag at the general store or you can give it a taste test before you buy it at the bakery. If you're not already subscribed, click the subscribe button below and turn on notifications so that way you get notified every time we post a video. Let's get cooking. Here are the things you'll need. Three pints of cream, two tablespoons of air root powder wet with cold water, one cup of black coffee, very strong and clear, and two cups of sugar. Okay, so the first step is to take one and a half pints of cream and add it to the pot and let it come to a boil. So I'm just gonna pour that in. And now we'll just let that boil. Okay, so I have the arrowroot powder right here. So now what I'm going to do is just add a little bit of water and actually just stir it with a fork so you get kind of like a little paste. So I'm just gonna add a little water over here. Sort of like if you were gonna make a paste with cornstarch. Just kind of making sure there's no big chunks left in there but that looks good to me so we have the cream here it's been heated to a near boil i would say it's kind of at like a rolling simmer right now i'm just going to give it a stir with the spoon so what i'm going to do is add in our one and a half cups of sugar and then i'm just going to keep stirring until i feel like all of the sugar has been fully dissolved and there's no more granules at the bottom when i stir it with my spoon Stirring that in there. And we'll see how long this will take. It kind of depends on how hot your cream is, of course. And then once that is all dissolved, which we shall see when that will be, we'll add in our one cup of cold, strong coffee. A little fun fact for you about ice cream is that when George Washington spent $200 on the sweet treat when he was in the White House, that is about $5,000 by today's standards. That is a lot of ice cream. So I feel like the sugar has been fully dissolved into the cream. When I move my spoon across the bottom of the pot, I don't really hear or feel any of the granules still there. So now what I'm going to do is take my cup of coffee with the Allaire Coffee Blend and just dump it right in there. And this is where we're going to get the flavor for the coffee ice cream. So I'm just going to keep stirring that for a little bit. Make sure that's nice and blended. And then I'm going to go back to my mixture of the arrowroot powder and water. And I'm gonna stir that in as well. And then basically, we're gonna keep stirring. I'm gonna turn up the heat a little bit. So now it's at about medium heat. So and then I'm gonna slowly bring it up to a boil and let that boil for about five minutes, stirring constantly the entire time. It's starting to smell a little bit like coffee, which is nice. <laughs> I'm gonna bring the heat up again. Want to be really careful here not to burn the cream because that can happen really easily. When you're working with butter or cream or something that has a lot of fat in it, it's always a lot better to just go low and slow as opposed to throwing everything into the pot and heating up really quickly because that's when it's going to scorch and then you're going to get that flavor in there which would not go nicely with the coffee, I don't think. <laughs> So now I have it here at a pretty steady boil. I can definitely tell that it's getting a lot thicker. You can see that when I make the little figure eights, there's kind of a little ribbon trail behind the spoon. So that means it's getting nice and thick. And also once it cools down, it is going to thicken up as well. So I think we're actually ready to turn off the heat. And we're just gonna let this guy sit for a while so that it can cool down completely. 
but first I'm just gonna let it kind of sit on the stove for about 10 minutes before I put it into the fridge so it can adjust a little bit better. Alrighty, so we've transferred the finished ice cream to a bigger bowl. Now we're just gonna cover it up with some parchment paper and tie it up and then stick it in the freezer for probably about 12 hours at least just to kind of see where it's at at that point and then we'll check it and then we will enjoy. I got a haircut, but we are here to try the coffee ice cream. I'm super excited. So we just took it out of the freezer. Um, you're probably letting it sit for about 10 or 15 minutes ago or so. But I would say that the biggest thing that we noticed is that the texture is a little bit different just looking at it than we thought it was going to be. So it's definitely more stiff and almost looks more like gelato as opposed to the ice cream that you would find in an ice cream parlor or that you would get from the store. Um, and I'm super excited to try it and let you know what the taste is. So it's definitely a little bit softer now that it's been sitting out. And it still kind of smells the same, just like, like ice cream, I would say. <laughs> okay, it's good. I like it a lot. Um, I would say now that it's set out for a while, it's definitely a lot creamier than I thought it was gonna be. Um, so when we were making this, we were concerned that it wasn't going to set like ice cream, but even just looking at it and tasting it, I definitely say that it has. Um, as far as flavor goes, I'm not really getting too much coffee, but I am almost getting like a sort of toasted marshmallow flavor, if that makes sense. And I think it's because when we were cooking the base on the stove, um, it sort of gained a lot of flavor that way, if that makes sense. But I really enjoy it. Um, it's definitely softening also a lot more quickly than your average ice cream might, I'm, I'm realizing. But it's really good and I like it. Um, I can definitely see how this recipe would kind of be the more historic precursor to the modern ice cream. But all in all, I would definitely recommend it. It's really good and I enjoy it a lot. I would make this at home, but I would also let it set in the freezer for less time than we did. So we let it sit for about two days because we left and then came back as you can tell but i would say probably about four to six hours would be like a prime time to let this sit in order to get kind of that like creamier more traditional ice cream texture also so we didn't put a real lid on ours we kind of just covered it in parchment paper because we couldn't find one that would like fit the size of the bowl we were using but i would definitely recommend putting a if you're making this in like tupperware then putting like a tupperware lid on it so that way it's super airtight and you're not going to get any um, crystals or anything, you know, any like residual things from the freezer or anything like that. So I definitely would recommend a lid as well. If you enjoyed this video, give us a like and subscribe and let us know in the comments if you tried today's recipe. If you want to check out the other cooking videos on our channel, there will be a link below. See you next time.